Have you ever been browsing on your favorite cartoon community in Discord, Twitter, or even Reddit and stumble upon the most outrageous post about someone shipping the two most random characters of that show? Well, it happened to me and I made a video about it. Grasper. If you are an active user of the Steven Universe community, you most likely have come across thousands of ships, including weird ones. A lot of weird ones, actually. Being Grasper one of those. In this show context, Greg is the father of the protagonist Steven Universe, and Jasper is one of the first main antagonists that appears in the series. The conception of shipping these two sound weird and unusual for a few reasons. Lack of on-screen chemistry. Greg and Jasper rarely have any meaningful interactions in the show and both lack common interests and have opposing beliefs. Moral conflicts. Jasper is decepted as a complex antagonist of an imposing and aggressive nature, while Greg, on the other hand, is portrayed as a laid-back, caring individual. Their opposing moral beliefs and positions in the story of the show create the idea that even if they were in a relationship, it wouldn't be an healthy one or a desirable one. Mortwai Moving on to the most famous weird ship of cartoons, Mortwai is the ship between Mordkai and Twilight Sparkle from regular show and My Little Pony respectively. Although this ship wasn't initially famous and heated, it all changed when the user BlueDog444 posted an image where both characters appear poorly drawn, singing the lyrics from the music Airplanes by Hayley Williams. Since then, Mortwai has been redrawn thousands of times over the years, gaining huge popularity in the early 2010s, even making a big appearance in recent meme culture for some reason. And I don't think I need to explain why it is weird to ship Twilight Sparkle with Mordkai, since the internet has already made that job for me. Hootlingo. While some ships are meant to be taken serious, Hootlingo is definitely not one of those. This ship playfully pairs the character Hootie from the Owl House with the Duolingo Howl from the Learning App. The popularity of Hootlingo can be given to the internet's love for memes and its habit for creating monstrosities. Fans of the Owl House have found joy in imagining the interactions between these two for some reason giving rise to fan art, memes, and entertaining scenarios. It's important to note that Hootlingo is primarily a comedic ship, focusing on the non-existent dynamic between Hooty and Duolingo, rather than a serious romantic connection. So in other words, it wasn't made to be taken serious. Pinecest Pinecest refers to a controversial fun term in the Gravity Falls community that combines the words Pine, the last name of the main characters Deeper and Mabel, and Incest. It portrays the concept of a romantic relationship between Deeper and Mabel Pines, who are twin siblings in Gravity Falls. Since Gravity Falls and most cartoons are made for younger audiences, I think it's highly inappropriate to portray this in the Gravity Falls community. It's worth noting that any fan-created content involving Pinecest are not supported by the creators of Gravity Falls and are widely criticized within the community. Lusco. Lusco is the name given to the ship between Luz from the Owl House and Marco Diaz from Stars vs. the Evil Forces. This isn't that strange, considering that Marco is pretty much shipped with any Latina slash Asian girl from cartoons, like Connie from Steven Universe and Anne from Amphibia. And as absurd as this may sound, there is actually a name for the ship that involves the four characters called Marconi Yuan. Of course, all of this started in the hottest depths of hell, also known as Divindar. Apparently, people think that just because they go on adventures and have a similar skin color, that they should be together. So this was a quick video that just seemed fun to make. If this video eventually gets a good feedback, I might do a part 2 as well. 
I hope you enjoyed and to see you soon.